Hello Aries, this is your daily reading for the 9th through the 10th. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. This is general, so it will not resonate for everyone. Okay, I'm going to do something a little different, trying something a little different. <clears throat> this is an angel prayers card that we're going to get started with. And it says, love and accept yourself. Thank you, angels, for lovingly guiding me to self-acceptance, okay? <clears throat> All right, so we're going to see where you guys are at for the day or for the 8th through the, not the 8th through the 9th, but the 9th through the 10th, okay? Hmm. <clears throat> Currently, I see that a lot of you have, it's like you want to start something, um, you want to initiate something here. But a lot of you are trying to restrain yourselves. Like you're, you're trying to hold on to see if what you have already done is going to work for you. Okay. We have Taurus and Leo energy here. I feel like a lot of you feel like too that you have, um, like you've done enough. And so this is like you waiting on the results of what you have already done to come into fruition here. So you're kind of holding yourself back, I feel like, from either doing something else, something added, or contacting someone, okay? And let's see why you are here right now. What's, what's, what's going on below the surface? Like, what has happened? Hmm. I feel like you guys have taken your hands off of a situation, okay? And this could have involved um, a Gemini, a Pisces, Virgo even. But I feel like you've taken your hands off of a situation, but it was a struggle for you two, okay? It was a struggle, but now you're just kind of letting, um, you let things play out the way that you feel like, okay, they need to play out. Like, you've done all that you can do, okay? With the Magician and the Ace of Wands, this is you giving your all to something. You've already done that, okay? And being that you've given your all to something, you are not willing to make a move any further from here. You're taking your hands off of it. It's like, you know, I've done everything that I can do with this situation, Okay, and so now it's like you are being strong enough to not take any further action towards something that um, you probably, this could be a love relationship for sure, definitely, because, you know, primarily that's what I do is love. Um, but this can also be uh, like as far as a job is concerned for some of you, because some of you um, felt like you started a job or you you know, started a business even, and um, you have done everything that you feel like you can do to make that, that business flourish or that relationship flourish. And now you're just kind of sitting back and, you know, just really trying to just see where this is going to take you. Okay. Now, for some of you, I do get the sense that you know, for most of you, this is involving love with the Queen of Cups being here because this Queen of Cups has turned her back on this situation, facing out of the reading, facing forward. So this is you still being you, loving yourself, being very intuitive, being very um, helpful, kind to people. Um, but this is you also deciding that when things are not good for you, that you should walk away from it. That first and foremost, you should love yourself. This is what you're doing here. And we see this with this angel prayers card right here. Love and accept yourself. Okay? I see you doing that for sure. Knowing when you've put enough into something just to when to take your hands off of it and do nothing further. Okay? So let's see what is um, the outside influence, like what, what has happened, what is going on exterior to you that has brought you to this place, something flipped right there, 
Hmm. Okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. So, for some of you, like this is a job. Okay, this is a job that you felt like you earned pretty decent money at. This is a job that you felt like brought you stability. But I feel like a lot of you guys probably had a very controlling boss or even a co-worker that, um, you know, you didn't necessarily get along with, maybe was aggressive towards you. Okay, and you did all that you could do in this situation. And then you just like, I have my, you know, I'm not doing anything else. It's time for me to leave even um, or just kind of remove yourself from the situation, not interact any longer. Okay, for the relationship. This is somebody who you had a relationship with that was, you felt like it was very solid at one point. Um, I feel like you guys felt like it was going to be long term, that this is possibly would have been your life partner. But I feel like that person was very aggressive in their approach with you. Um, maybe they weren't so loving. Maybe they were quick with their words. They always, you know, spoke before they actually, you know, acted or whatever. But that is that is the reason why you are in the situation you're in right now, because it's like, you know, you've done all you can do with that situation. So you have taken your hands off of it. You're holding tightly to what you believe that is good for you to take your hands off of it and learning to love yourself. That is what you're doing. Let's see what the advice is for today. Hmm. Your advice is a five of cups. That there is still love out there for you. All is not lost for you. Okay. All is not lost for you. Do not feel regretful about the things that you have lost. Because if things were removed from your life, they were removed for a reason. Okay? Pick yourself up. Dust yourself off. And love yourself. And in loving yourself, you will again have this Two of Cups as well as this Ten of Pentacles. Okay? Whether it's in your love life or your work life. All right, my Aries friends. So that's what I have for you guys for today. Again, um, for the love, this is there's Leo here, Taurus here, um, Virgo, Gemini, Pisces energy, um, maybe Scorpio. But that's just the energy that's present, you guys. Does not have to be those signs. I will be speaking with you soon. Bye now.